Hey, good people, how are you doing today? We are back with another video. Rice cake. Yes, we're gonna eat some rice cakes because Gavin missed out on the first one. Um, he had just eaten. I think I had some sauce on my face. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, he missed out on the first one, so he had just eaten. eaten. And uh, I think I asked him if he wanted some rice cakes and you said no. But then he tasted them afterwards and he was like, oh my gosh, those are so good. So I want some. So I made some more so that we can eat it, eat it together. So we have some yummy rice cakes again. Um, I put about 20 rice cakes in here, although I don't know why we did that because <clears throat> we might not eat them all. So we got about 20 rice cakes in here and then um, we've got some dumplings. <coughs> Oh, cover your mouth, bro. We got some dumplings, and then he's actually a little sick, so he might not eat a whole lot. And it's probably, I know you guys are like, oh, why would you let him eat if he eat with you? If he's sick, you might get sick. Well, it's inevitable. I might get sick anyway, so, you know, why not? So, anywho, we're going to, and we, I've just been forgetting to say grace. All right. Amen. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we are going to get started. Oh, um, so we have the dump fried dumplings. I mean, not the fried dumplings, rice cakes. Um, so I put about twenty rice cakes in here, and then we oh, be careful, don't touch the pan because the pan is hot. So kind of just like, like that. Um, some I used like some regular ramen noodles and I used the sauce packet from the noodles I also have an egg in here and uh, it kind of got like a poached effect which is kind of cool look at this what is this <laughs> please make sure you blow it because it's probably extremely hot and don't touch the pan it's hot so eat over your plate so that you don't touch the pan Um, then we have some dumplings that I put in um, my air fryer um, with some the sweet and sweet and spicy sauce and then the dumpling sauce. And then we have some pickled radish right here, which I don't think he's going to eat any. So I, I'll probably just be eating that. But if he wants to try some, he can. Mm -mm. And these are just like super good, super good. Because they have cheese in them. Well, not just the cheese, it's just it's got really good flavor. So as I said in my last video, I used, um, please be careful that you don't touch the pan. Um, I used, um, like a pre-made sauce or what have you. Um, so I bought two packets of the sauce. So I just use, uh, again, I forgot to bring the sauce over here so you can see it. Um, so I brought, bought, had bought two of the sauces. So I just used the other packet of sauce that I had and then bought like a bag of rice cakes, which I still have plenty of left, which is another reason why I was motivated to do rice cakes again. Um, so I used about a little over two cups of water, 20 rice cakes, a pack of ramen noodles with the sauce packet or the seasoning packet. rice cakes is a lot. Mm-hmm. Last time, how many did you do? I don't know, I did a lot. I didn't even count last time, but it was a lot. And as I said before, the sauce really tastes like, it really reminds me of, um, like a um the fire noodle sauce but it's not as spicy but i feel like it has the same flavor mm. and pickle pickle radishes i've always wanted to try them see people eat them all the time i, I tried uh -huh, i told you and was it hot or just like when you get when you get your finger, your finger on the pan and then you take mm. it off so quickly, it's not that hot. It actually tastes like the veggies 
inside the dumpling. Mm. This is lunch. A rice cake. <clears throat> but yeah, my apologies for not making a video sooner this week. Just as life has been happening, you know, that's it. So I was I did cook yesterday. Um, Tomorrow, uh, is gym for me so and then and then and then the day before i mean the day after that i'll be going to flag football on saturday mm -hmm. because we can't play on sundays we have to play on saturdays well i don't think it's not that you can't it's just the particular place that you're playing at. I practice on Wednesday. We had practice yesterday. taste one of these? No? Are you going to eat some dumplings? You want sauce? Is that hot? This one has some spicy, the real red things are spicy. Um. This one isn't spicy. Put it over your plate. Over your plate. If you're wanting the juice to fall. I thought yesterday was gym. That's why I thought that's why you were saying that you needed to wear tennis shoes. No, like, like music teacher, she doesn't like want like, like, like. She doesn't want any shoes like that. She wants like tennis shoes because sometimes we're gonna run around. Last time I, I mean, it makes sense, but I didn't realize how filling this would be. Oh my gosh, I was so full. Mm. So, I'm kind of interested because, um,
I know um, Divine Munchies, Kashi Star. She stays like in the Oakland area and she have found a place where they make fresh like the giant um, rice cakes. Or your spiker. Yeah, I just stole a little bit. Are you okay? I'm fine. And um, apparently that was too hot for him, so he's going to eat some what I cooked yesterday, which is some chili mac and cheese. Which is really good. This is recipe I got off of, where did I first see it? I think I might have, where did I first see it? I saw it on Facebook, I think, first. And it's from this site called Damn Delicious. Who said they love us? Um, someone that watched our Taco Bell video. Or, yeah, I think. But who said it? Um, I don't, I don't know the young lady specifically, but. I think she's a, or personally. We put this on YouTube. Our f that, <clears throat> this and that touch together. He usually can handle spicy food, but. And last time, when I ate it last time, he ate some of what I had left over. But. That's like. That's like a lot more to go. Well, yeah, I made a whole. I mean, I made more than what I've. If I had done this by myself, I'd only put 10 rice cakes in here, I think, but. You said you wanted to do it, so I made 20. So it could be even. I'm just so we will have enough. Well, my mom wants to show you something like this. She wants to show you this. This is good chili mac and cheese, and it's got some light and dark kidney beans, some ground turkey, onions, tomatoes, diced tomatoes. Um, what else? Elbow noodles, and then I seasoned it. I think the main seasonings are like seasonings are like using some cumin and some. Uh, chili powder, but I also put some when I, Usually when I cook I put like a lot of seasonings like my food has to have flavor so I'll put I put some minced garlic in after I brown the, the turkey meat Then I also put some turkey. I mean some garlic powder in there put some onion powder um, some black pepper um, I have this um, mortars or m what's the whatever the the you know the main brand of salt is they have this seasoning and it's um, it's like an all-purpose seasoning or whatever I put that in there and then I want to say it's I think it's an adobo and it's not adobo but I, the same brand that makes adobo I think it's in a green it's in a green bottle I'll put that in there some Italian seasoning I think that's it Drop my pickle rash. Oh, like, like right there, and now we're done. 
No, I dropped in my hand actually. Five seconds ago. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna eat all of this. Like we're gonna save it. It's not different kinds of YouTube, it's only one YouTube. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, so Jen said earlier I put some mozzarella cheese on top. Cheese is so good. Oh, oh my God! Speaking of cheese, I saw the saddest story, news story today. A little boy had a really severe um, dairy allergy and passed away because another student put some cheese down his shirt. So sad. Really sad. Oh my gosh, she just told me this story. Hmm. What? What? Why do you want to look at me? Why you? Why you? Stop talking with that fork in your mouth. Thank you. Kids are so cruel these days, I'll tell you. I mean, they were probably just as cruel. We were probably just as cruel when we were little, but I don't know. I feel like we had a lot thicker skin. I love onions. Mm. I try to put onions and mushrooms and anything I can, even if the recipe didn't call for it. Of course, we got my my peach tea. I feel like I guess I'm only is I'm, I've only reserved it for when I'm watching videos. Still good, although even if it wasn't, I'm still gonna drink it anyway. If you don't know, you will find out. I, am I a penny pincher? I don't really know. But I don't like to waste money. I don't like to waste food. Sit up, buddy. Oh. So, you know. What time is it? I don't know yet. Hmm? I don't know. I can't get up. Just wait. Excuse me. She probably might uh, eat like all of this, but then she probably might eat this. Like eat this part some other day. I am done. <coughs> My belly is full, full, full. Well, guys, she has retired. <laughs> Hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, going to get ready for school tomorrow. He really isn't feeling well. Whole thing. Well, I'm getting full. Mm. It doesn't even look like I took a dent in it, but it, in all actuality, I really did eat like, well, a half or kind of. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Help me out a little. <laughs> Or I did that because I'm like, okay, girl. <laughs> Nichols is probably crooked. I mean, it's been crooked this whole time. <laughs> no point in fixing it now. All right, I'm getting pretty full here. Although I feel like I ate a, a rather light lunch. But I ate lunch after I worked out. Oh, that workout was, well... It's always intense. I take this HIT class, high interval intensity, high intensity interval training, cardio class, and it is brutal. I take it every Tuesday and Thursday, and when I tell you, I feel like she tries to kill us every time, every time. This week, or th today, we have stations. Excuse me. So the first station, I started at station one. I was, we had to do five push-ups, then 10 double, um, the double mountain climber, or double mountain climber, double leg mountain climbers, and then 15 bootstraps. You had to do four rounds of that. The next section was, you had to do 15 kettlebell swings, and 10 walking lunges with the kettlebell. You gotta do maybe three rounds of that. <laughs> and then The next station you had to do either 300 jump rope um, or um, three high knee runs. I did the jump rope. And then the next station you had to do 20, uh, was it relay runs? So just back and forth down the room. Sorry, I had the steez, I think. <laughs> And then the next station was, um, you had to do, was it four rounds? It was either three or four rounds. It might've been four rounds. You had to do a 30 second wall sit and then you had to do 10 squat jumps. Right. I tell you, my legs were dead after that one. And then the next station was, um, the last station was you had to do what was it five V ups, ten? Was it ten hollow rocks? I think it was ten hollow rocks, and then fifteen toe touches. Um, and these hollow rocks, I don't know if it's a thing 
I don't know if it's something that she made up or if it's an actual thing. It's probably an actual thing. I had never heard of them until I started taking her class. It was a lot. <laughs> and then, um, you know, you just keep on going around if you finish all six stations. So I got to the, I was at the third station, or no, the second station when she called the end of time. And then, if the actual workout was not enough, most classes, she'll have us do something, a special thing for the last five minutes. So today, um, we'll listen to the song called Thunder. And then you had to do like the, like football, like legs or whatever, like really fast. And any, every time they said thunder in the song, you had to get down. Basically, it looks like you're doing a, bur a burpee for real. Um, and I still have work to do. I've only done that one one time since I've been doing her class, I think. And I've been doing her class uh, probably since, I want to say probably since January, I, I think. If it wasn't the January class, then it was whatever class was after. The classes rotate like every six weeks. So if it wasn't the first class of the year, it was probably the next class. And I've only done that one once. I don't, I've heard the song, but like, I don't really know when the thunder comes. So it's always a surprise when thunder happens. <laughs> uh, let you know, on Tuesday, our after like our little last five minute exercise was to do the cha-cha slide. No, the Cupid Shuffle. Was it the Cupid? No. Yeah, the Cha-Cha Slide and a plank. <laughs> so, you know, you had to do it. It was, that one was interesting. It was the first, she said she had saw it online. And so it was something she was trying with us. And um, it was pretty interesting. We did, so, you know, you did kind of just shift it to the left. Um, and then for the hops, we did Mountain Climbers. Uh... I don't know. It, it was it was interesting. It was it was interesting. And then two, what was Tuesday's workout? I think we had partners, and we had like a list of stuff that you had to do. However, like the first, the top number, you're counting the top number, but then the your partner is doing the exercise while you're doing the actual exercise. And I think it was like you switch off however many for that day but anywho sorry i this i'm just rambling on at this point my apologies <laughs> about this workout but maybe i hope I, hopefully i can remember if i do a video on the day that i work out i'll let you guys know about the the killer workout that i did and yeah and every time after i get done with that class i am drenched in sweat okay you hear me drenched and i have to take a shower and you know, there are some people that don't take showers after this class and I'm I'm just questioning because there's no way like when I I mean I just feel like I smell grotesquely or grotesque, I don't know, grotesquely. I smell really bad <laughs> after this class. So I can't imagine not taking a shower afterwards. Okay, so that is all for today. I have talked you all's ear off sufficiently enough. Um, it's what I, it's sometimes what happens. I ramble on. So, um, anywho, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Sorry for the swip swap. Um, yeah, the, the rice cakes were too spicy for Gavin. So he decided to, he wanted some chili mac and cheese. So um yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you know go ahead and hit that you know wherever it's at the the bell so that you can get notifications every time i post a video um and what else and don't forget to comment and let me know what type of things you want me to eat want me to try i'm very open um yeah i'm, I'm open i, I <laughs> um it's so funny um they i mean just people that i've worked with or my family they just know that i eat any and everything so yeah just let me know um yeah all right well i will hopefully i have another story in my mind but hopefully i'll remember to tell you that at a later date because i've talked to you off long enough um anywho yeah okay well i hope you all have a wonderful day evening 
um, afternoon whenever you have decided to watch this video and I will see you back with another video very soon okay bye